All this week on Dateline Schools, we're learning about the foster grandparent program that's operating here in St. Clair County. Tell us all about it. My special guest from the St. Clair County Council on Aging, the director of the program, Laura Nassel. And Laura, kind of describe what a foster grandparent does when they're working with these children. It depends on where they're placed and the age of the children that they are volunteering with. But they could be doing everything from helping a young preschooler, um, work on um, school readiness skills, adjust to being away from mom, learn to share, just comforting them because they're you know away for the first time, um, to helping children academically in this, in the uh, elementary and middle school ages. We don't have any in high school right mm -hmm. now, but that would be possible. Helping them to stay on track. Maybe a child that's easily distracted might just be sitting with them, making sure they're getting their work done, encouraging them. And when I'm training volunteers, I tell them that. It's great if you help a child improve a reading level, but the best thing you can do is to help increase their self-esteem. Mm -hmm. That's what they need to focus on. So they work on building the child's self-confidence and their self-esteem, mm -hmm. and in turn, mm -hmm. it does the same for the foster grandparent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, do they work one-on-one uh, -on -one with the kids or like with the whole class of the students? Or how, how does that work? They can work with any of the students mm -hmm. in the class, but they are assigned um, generally around five children, four or five children, mm -hmm. that they will work with more closely. The teacher will identify ones that could use that extra time, mm -hmm. maybe a little more than some of the other ones need it. Mm -hmm. So they work, will work one-on-one -on -one with them or they work with small groups of children. Mm -hmm. But those four or five that they're assigned to are the ones that we mm -hmm. track for progress also mm -hmm. for our reports. Do you find some of your foster grandparents get the opportunity to work with kids as they work their way through the elementary into the middle school system? That does happen at mm -hmm. times, but mm -hmm. especially in our inner city mm -hmm. schools here in Port Huron, families move around mm -hmm. a lot. Sometimes, mm -hmm. you know, half the school mm -hmm. body is gone mm -hmm. by mid-year and they have a whole new group of kids. Um, but what happens more often is the teacher and the foster grandparent bond and so if the teacher leaves and goes to another school the grandparent will go with the teacher which is great we'll be back with more tomorrow for dateline schools i'm terry harrington